using the zoom menu of the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. This video lesson refers to the TI-83 and TI-84 series of graphing calculators. Pictured here is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator. I strongly invite the viewer to follow along with your calculator to get as much as possible from this video lesson on using the zoom menu. Pause and rewind as necessary. This is the zoom menu key at the top of the keypad of your calculator. We'll go over four of the most useful of many zoom options in this menu. And when we press the zoom menu key, this is what we see, the zoom menu. We'll look at option one, Z box for zoom box. We'll look at option five, zoom square. We'll look at option six, zoom standard. And if we scroll down, we can see option nine, zoom stat. These are the four options we'll be introduced to in this video lesson today. The zoom options allow us to make quick, accurate adjustments to the viewing window. The first option we'll look at is this one, Zoom 6 or Zoom Standard. If we press the window key, we are likely to see these settings, our standard window settings. X min is negative 10, X max is 10, Y minimum is negative 10, and Y max is 10. And if we press graph with the window and standard settings, this is what we get, the standard viewing window. But what if we press graph and see something like this, a view screen that is unrecognizable as to where we are? We might feel lost like this guy walking around a labyrinth. Or maybe you're not lost at all. You may just want to get back to a normal window quickly without changing everything in the window view. All we have to do to get back to a normal window is to press zoom. Then we can scroll down to 6, zoom standard, or we can just press 6 and we get a standard window, like this one. Now we'll use that graph we found by going to a standard window and try to evaluate it using another feature from the zoom menu. We want to get a real good view of the function here, where the function is crossing the x-axis to see real well what is happening here, zeros and so forth, but it's congested and we cannot see it that well. Press the zoom key. We're going to use option one, zoom box. Press enter to choose option 1, zoom box. The cursor is at the origin whose coordinates are 0, 0. This is just a little dot of a cursor, maybe a little hard to see here. We're going to go about constructing our box, moving the cursor to the left, 8 strokes of the arrow. The x coordinate is at about negative 1.7. Now moving the cursor up by arrowing up 4 strokes, we get y equals about 1.29. When the cursor gets to the upper left hand corner of the box we want to evaluate, mark that corner of the box by pressing enter. Now after having pressed enter, we press the down arrow a few times to establish the left side or edge of the box. After we've established that lower left corner of the box, do not press enter, but arrow to the right until we get to the place we want to have the lower right corner of the box. Press enter. This is the graph zoomed in to the dimensions established by the little box we created. Press trace. We can use the trace feature of the calculator to evaluate this function. It looks like the left root or zero is at about negative 1.1. We could find the exact zero using the calc menu, but to find out how to do that I invite you to click the link to the calc lesson here on the right side of the screen and at the end of this lesson. It looks like there are two roots on the right near the y-axis, but it's still congested over there. But with zoom box, we can zoom in yet again to get an even more microscopic view of what's going on. We can do it time after time. So we start zoom box again by pressing the zoom button. After pressing enter, we go to the upper left-hand corner of the box we want to evaluate. We press enter to establish the upper left hand corner of our box. We arrow downward setting the left edge or side of the box. Then we arrow to the right until we have the box we want. Press enter. Now we have the new doubly zoomed in window. We use, tr we use trace to find roots of about negative 0.15 and of 0.2. We can also find a relative minimum of the graph near the y axis. These are the coordinates of our minimum again that we can find using the calc menu. 
Again, for more on finding roots maxima and minima, see using the calc menu and evaluating quadratic functions. Now we'll look at something else. Here's a triangle plotted on the graphing calculator. The coordinates used to plot this triangle are 1, 4, 1, 4, and 9, 4. Based on these coordinates, this should be an isosceles right triangle with two 45 degree angles. But it doesn't look like an isosceles right triangle because of the rectangular distortion between the vertical and horizontal dimensions of the view screen. We can correct this distortion by choosing Zoom 5 or Zoom Square. Press Zoom, go down to Option 5, Zoom Square, press Enter. Now the triangle looks like an isosceles right triangle. How did this happen? Press Window. Zoom Square adjusted the X min and the X max to make the view screen geometrically proportional. For yet another example, here's the graph of a circle. But this graph of the circle looks like an ellipse. We can fix the proportionality issue by pressing Zoom 5 or Zoom Square. We'll look at one more option, press Stat. Here are five points in Stat Edit. Press Zoom. Scroll down to option 9, Zoom Stat. Press Enter. We see all the points that were plotted. Press Window. Here's Zoom Stat adjusted uh, to the window settings to be able to see the points that were plotted in, in uh, the Stat Edit. Now we'll summarize. We looked at Zoom 6, Zoom Standard. We looked at Zoom 1, Zoom Box. We looked at Zoom 5, which is Zoom Square. And we looked at Zoom 9, which is Zoom Stat. There are follow-up video lessons regarding operations accessed by these function keys at the top of the keypad. There's the Stat Plot menu, the Window function, the Table Set operation, and the Calc menu. You may specifically access any of the lessons on these functions by clicking on the associated button in the bottom half of this image. This has been using the Zoom Menu TI-84 Plus Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.